What's up everyone? So I always get so many questions about how I personally go about doing flashcards. So today I wanted to show you how I do 1300 flashcards in about two hours. And this is not unusual for me, especially because uh, to prep for board exams, I feel like for me, I would need to do that money uh, to just get things in my head up and rolling. So I take you with me today as I go about doing 1300 flashcards in two hours, show you some of the flashcards I do, the pace at which I do them, and also walk you through some of the strategies to make flashcards. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's do it. I didn't get a chance to record the beginning of this video, but just know that I started already and I've done this many cards in this many minutes so far. And this is kind of what the agenda is looking like today. I have 971 cards with 53 new and um, tomorrow I'll have 769, but you'll see that this number will go up as I finish all of these cards. So my goal today was to just take you guys with me as I complete these cards. You can, you know, see a snippets of me doing them. But more important than all of that, just also realize that it takes a lot out of you to do this every day. So every day in the morning, you'll see that it's 10 a.m. I usually wake up and I spend about two, two and a half hours trying to get through these cards. And it can be tough, but you got to do it. So part of this is to provide motivation. Part of it is for you to also see how I get through each of these. So I will. I usually start at the bottom. So I'm starting with my week six deck, right? Because I've been passively studying for this test for a while now. So I'll do week six, then week five, then week four. Uh, week four, then I'll do week three, then week two, week one, and then I'll just move up um, and then I'll try to do each of these. Uh, the whole point of breaking my studying down into these sub decks is one, it makes it faster because if I try to do all 900 at once, it's just horrible. But by doing these big ones early on, I can actually get through them. So right now we're at 93 and seven minutes. We'll see where it goes. All right, let's go. Okay, so here I am actually doing my flashcards. You'll see that some of the images are blurred out primarily because um, these aren't, first of all, my images, they came with the deck and some of the images may be copyright, so I want to make sure we respect that. But with all that being said, the reason I wanted to show you guys doing my flashcards is because I wanted to show you that almost all of them have a question and answer format. I recommend you do this when you make your flashcards, have a question at the front and the answer on the back. By memorizing just blatant sentences, you won't be able to learn as effectively as if you actually had a question and answer format. Basically, this was my first block of the day. I was super excited. I was able to get through it relatively fast. So let's see um, how I did. All right, so now you'll see that I'm done with week six. Um, and I was able to do that in about 26 minutes, about 11.30 or so right now. Uh, the reason why it takes a bit longer in terms of real time is because one, I'm recording. So sometimes I have to record, put this into my editor. And while I'm doing that, that takes some time away. But the point is I finished week six. Now I'll move on to week five and move down chronologically from there, just because these are where the majority of my cards are. And right now I have about 830. The other thing you'll realize is I did about 300 cards and uh, this deck only had about like 200 and something cards with about 40 new cards. So the reason why it shows doing more cards than the amount that were in the deck is because the new cards you often have to do twice. You have to see them once and then you have to see them again uh, to make sure you know them to show up the next day. So that's why a lot of the time this number is actually inflated. Um, in terms of the number of cards I did, because sometimes if you do a card, you'll need to do it again if you didn't know it, or if it's a new card, you'll need to do it twice before you'll be able to see it again the next day. And so because of that, you get an inflated number here. Uh, just wanted to point that out. But now let's go ahead and do week five. So even though I'm only showing you a part of it right now, I ended up doing multiple blocks in this next part. And the whole point of it was to try to do as many cards as possible so that I could get through my morning. Because when I do these flashcards in the morning, part of it is to make sure I'm learning a material. But the other part is to make sure that I don't spend too much time on this. Because there are so many flashcards when you're studying for these standardized tests, sometimes quantity is important, as I've mentioned before. Back to this, I was actually in my second block when you're seeing me do this. And I'm actually a really big morning person because once I have my coffee, I'm able to go relatively fast. But I also do some other things that you're seeing in this video that help me be in my Zen mode. One of them is that I actually do most of my flashcards downstairs. 
uh, in the living room where there's lots of light and lots of ample <laughs> uh, vitamin D to keep me going. And the other thing is that I also sit in the sofa because I like to be comfortable when I'm working. A lot of people like to sit at desks, whatever works for you. But for me personally, my morning ritual is coffee and then actually sitting on my sofa for at least an hour or so to get me up and going, feeling comfortable and getting through these flashcards. Started strong. I actually started wavering quite a bit. So you're going to see what happens next. But I started strong and it really does get really tiring to do a lot of these flashcards, especially when you're trying to get them, you know, done well and done fast. And so you'll see the fatigue really got to me. It really got to me. So let's see. So it's around this time. I have about 400 cards left. Um, and it's actually tiring because uh, it says what? 842 cards in 78 minutes. So I've definitely picked up the pace a bit, but it, it gets like exhausting after you've done it for a while. And I also become way less productive. And so at this point, what I usually do is go through some of the decks that have fewer cards and just try to get through them more quickly because the fewer card decks, uh, one, they're easier sometimes. And two, I tend to pick the subjects that I'm more interested in. So like hematology or cardiology, I'll do one of those. Um, but again, it's so hard to stay focused. So during these times, what I'll do is I'll get up, I'll walk around. And that also creates a discrepancy, right? Because as I said, I've been working for 78 minutes on Anki. But if you look at the total time since I've woken up, I've definitely spent way more than 78 minutes uh, trying to work on my computer. Uh, and the reason for this is sometimes I'll go to another website or sometimes I'll do something else. And it just really detracts from my original goal, which is to stay focused. So at this point, what I'll do is turn off my Wi-Fi. Uh, so I just turn it off and uh, try to stay focused by having my Forest app going. And the Forest app is right here. I'll show you a screenshot. But it basically has a screenshot of the number of hours you work. Um, and so... Basically, I'm going to buckle down now. I have, it's about 1 p.m. My goal is with these 400 cards left, maybe try to be done by 2 p.m. It's ambitious uh, because, as I said, even though these 400 cards may only take me about 45 to 50 minutes, that would mean I have to stay very focused for 50 minutes. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but we'll see. We'll see because weirder things have happened. I have been able to stay focused sometimes. So we'll see. Let's let's just shoot shoot it, shoot our shot and we'll go from there. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to put 65 minutes on the clock here. This is my app that I use. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, and I'm going to start it. And at the same time, I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. And by turning everything off and starting my clock, I'm hoping I'll stay focused for 65 minutes to get these 400 cards done. And if we can do that, we'll be ahead of the game today, I will say. Um, but... This will be my motivation because usually I'm not able to stay this focused, especially because I haven't completely transitioned into study mode. But let's do it. Ready, set, go. So you'll see that in this block, I was actually doing cardiology. And the reason why I enjoyed doing cardiology was because one, it has a lot of sketchy cards in there and sketchy micro and sketchy farm are the ones that I use. So that really helped because it really helped me get back into the whole, okay, this is what I like to do. These are all the cartoons I learned. So let me just do those. And I always notice myself going a lot more fast when I'm doing something I'm interested in and when I'm actually remembering the material uh, through Sketchy. So that was actually one of the reasons why I was able to pick up the pace here a lot. Not to mention this was cardiology and you all will find this to be true as well when you start doing Anki. The subjects that you're interested in, those flashcards will stick to you much better as opposed to subjects you aren't as interested in. And so sometimes when I'm doing, I don't know, like infectious disease, it's a lot more difficult for me to remember like all the antibiotic regimens as opposed to when I'm doing my cardiology deck. It's just so much faster for me to just be able to go, 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 go. So basically this was my cardiology time. And the good part was I was able to get through it relatively fast. And I actually think I made up a decent amount of time here so that I could spend a bit more time on other decks where I was genu genuinely struggling a bit more. Even though you guys are only seeing me do my cardiology deck right now, you're also going to see in a short bit that I'm going to be done with my cardiology deck and I'll move on to another sub deck. And that's actually a really big point I want to make. When I do my Anki, I actually break it up into multiple decks and I do each deck one at a time. I know a lot of people keep all their cards in one deck. I personally find that to be, one, very time inefficient because it's much easier to do 10 decks of 20 cards than one deck of 200 cards. And trust me when I say it's just because of the way the algorithm works. So I usually have multiple smaller decks and they're usually broken up by section. And that's why I do cardiology and then I was able to do GI and then I can move on to infectious disease. There's multiple advantages to this and there's also disadvantages, but I think the advantages outweigh the disadvantages and that's why I do it this way. And I found it to be very efficient because it helps me save a bunch of time and also helps me organize my thoughts. So you'll see right now I'm actually doing GI now and I've moved on from cardiology and I continued this for the rest of the evening and I actually picked up the pace quite a bit to eventually 
hopefully reach my goal of finishing by 2, but let's see if I can meet it. It is 1.42 p.m. I wanted to record on my phone, but I couldn't because my timer is going, and so I'm kind of still in it. So I have about 159 cards left. It's 142, so I'm hoping in 18 minutes I can get through at least 100 cards, so I'll only have 50 left, and that's fine to get like finish later. Um, and then you also see this how many I've done today. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely tried to pick up the pace. It's definitely tiring. <laughs> but um, as I said, I started a bit late today, and um, I'm hoping I can at least finish this um, in the next uh, few minutes. So let's just try to do one block together, and then I will do some on my own. And then at the very end, I'll show you the last block I do because then I'll be done. So one day, one step at a time. All right, so this is the end game. We're getting close. So you'll see I actually started with nephrology for this block. And in the process, I uh, learned a bunch about kidneys, renal tubules, nephrotic syndrome, nephritic syndrome, pretty much everything you can possibly think about. And the good part about doing Anki, as I've mentioned countless times, is almost nothing is ever unfamiliar now. I'm so used to seeing pretty much anything and everything from every subject that it actually really helps. So you'll see here I'm actually getting through nephrology. And after nephrology, I get through pretty much a bunch of other subjects that I had. And I tried to finish strong and I felt really happy because I think vlogging this actually really personally made me go faster because I felt like I was doing this with all of you, for all of you. And hopefully if you're watching this, you're also getting motivation from it because as you'll see, it's so tough to do this on your own. And when you're doing it with someone or you feel like you're trying to live up to um, an audience, it really does help. So I want to give you guys credit, but you'll see that I actually went through this fast. I moved on to another deck and I was able to do a bunch of flashcards and I wanted to bring you guys home with me for the home run where I tried to finish all of it uh, for my goal. So let's see if I was able to do it. All right, everyone. So it is officially 2.03, which is still two minutes ahead of when my timer is going to run out because it's going to run out at 2.05 and I have 18 cards left. So I figured we would finish this together. Um, and yeah, let's just do it. I'm going to try to go relatively fast. Inspiratory strider is usually um, extra thoracic. After how many hours is it normal? You you should have passed it by 48 hours. If you haven't, it's bad. Intussusception. Um, you treat intussusception with a contrast enema, I believe. But in this case, she has peritonitis, so you actually have to do surgically emergency. Yep. 10% um, of Hirschsprung's usually presents with diarrhea. It's because it's not completely obstructed, so water can probably get through. Um, second degree is epidermis and dermis for a burn. Um, the organ responsible for current... Oh, pseudomonas. Um, when does a patient develop separation anxiety? One year. Uh, transient tachypnea, the newborn, is just supportive. Um, it's easy via live vaccine or killed vaccine, so live vaccine. Uh, by the age of two, the baby should be able to do two two word sentences. Um, treatment for strep pharyngitis is amoxicillin and clavinonate, right? Yes, perfect. What well, leads to expiratory strider? That would be intrathoracic. HPV is nine to twenty-one. Am I right? Yes. Do you give antibiotics before or after the CT scan if the baby is fails positive and you can't do an LP? You do it. Uh, before the CT scan, but after the blood cultures. Uh, inguinal folds longer on the longer than usual. Yep. You're facing one minute and five minutes, and because you have more ass to work with. Okay. All right. So we are done. We actually did it. I actually was able to film this. This is actually really exciting for me because this actually is a pretty good representation. It's actually exactly 205. So I wonder if my timer. Oh, I still have four minutes left. Okay, so we ended ahead of time. This is so good. Um, so we ended ahead of time. I did 1,300 cards in 122 minutes. So I showed you I go relatively fast. And as I said, especially when I'm trying to get back into the groove of things, I try to aim a lot more for quantity to get all of my pieces back together. For example, when you're learning to make a puzzle, sometimes it's better to at least have some places, uh, some pieces in place in a lot of different areas, so that way you can have an idea of what the big picture looks like. There's no point in making a really detailed understanding of like the left corner of a puzzle if you have no idea how much of the puzzle you have left, right? And so that's usually my approach with Anki, which is the fact that if I need to, and sometimes you really do need to, you need to do a lot of cards relatively fast. You need to get through them just so you can understand the big picture. And then when you actually have time later on, which I will today because I finished relatively early, you can actually go back and learn details. Like today I was like, oh, 
I forgot about peritonsillar abscesses. I'm going to review that. So I wrote it down and I'm going to review that later tonight. But to spend time to, while I'm doing my flashcards to go through the flashcards and be like, damn, I forgot this. It's, it just is, it's a lag. Um, so with all of that being said, 1300 cards, two hours. You guys were with me for all of it. I'm going to go eat lunch now. After lunch, I will um, probably do some other personal stuff that I need to finish and then maybe do a UO block. Uh, and then I'm slowly ramping up in terms of studying. So as you saw, we're done. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. But you'll see I'm ramping up. I did 1,300 cards yesterday, 1,354 yesterday as well. Um, and that's usually how I pace. So see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.